Hello, Mrs. Moore here again today. We are going to be working on a lovely sea star and where do you see my inspiration photo for this piece? So day two of a drawing a day keeps the boredom away. Okay, so this was my inspiration for today's drawing lesson, this beautiful sea star. Look at the colors. I just love it, it's so pretty. And what I really loved about this sea star is look right here in the center, there's an actual star. So we're gonna go ahead and practice making some stars. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. First, if you already know how to make a star, you can just jump the video ahead and take it from there. But look at all the texture too. Look at all these little nubblies on this sea star and look at how his legs just aren't perfect. See the bends. Gosh, I just love this piece, and I know you're all going to do a wonderful job. Okay, so first we're going to practice making some stars. So a star is really easy. It's sort of like making a capital A. So we start down on this side, straight up, straight down, like you're about to make that capital A. I would recommend doing it in pencil. I'm just going to use a Sharpie so you guys can see me better. Now, we're going to cut across this line right here, out to about there. It's kind of a good idea to think about where you want that star to go. You could put a couple of light dots out here, but we're gonna cut across this line here. We're gonna head straight across to the other side, and then we're gonna go back down to where we started from. That's how we make a star. Let's watch it one more time. Pretend you're making a capital A. Cut over to the opposite side, straight across, and back down where you started from. So practice a few of those, and once you get good at stars, we'll be able to do the center of that starfish, or that sea star, and then you can get started. All right, so before we get started, let's find the center of our paper because like I always say, whether you want something in the center or whether you don't want it in the center, you still need to know where your center is. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a few dashed lines across and that gives us a good idea where our center is. Take your fingers, you can go like this and find the center of that paper. So I am gonna put our sea star in the center of our paper today. Um, Interesting thing about sea stars, we always used to call them starfish, but they really aren't fish at all. They're closer to sea anemones and sea urchins. And so they said, really? We probably should be calling them sea stars. So I'm gonna to try to remember that and call them sea stars, but I'll probably forget and say starfish. Now, notice, remember we said how cool this was that the center of this starfish actually had a star right there. So I'm gonna, lightly tilt my paper because you see this isn't lined up exactly straight. So I'm going to slightly tilt my paper and I'm going to put a star right there in the center. So remember we start like we're making a capital A. I'm going to put it on darker than you guys can do nice and light so that if you need to erase it comes off so much easier. Cut across, straight across and right back down again. Now our C star has legs of different sizes, right? They're not all the same length and they're not all straight. So from right here, I'm gonna kind of keep my paper tilted now so that my star, I'm looking at my star nice and straight. And that first leg just sort of veers off to the other side. And it's not a super long one. It's also the way the photo was taken. But if I look at that, it's about the length of my pinky. Right, so that first leg kind of veers off like that. So we're gonna draw right down the center of that leg so we can see what's going on. And our second leg over to this side over here is gonna come off the other side. That's why I really love this photo because you can see the centers coming right off the tips of our star. So the next one, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So we're gonna give that little curve like that. Little bit of a curve. This one's a little bit longer and bring it out in this direction here. That one is longer than my pinky finger. All right, so we make it a little bit longer. This one, much longer than my pinky finger, and it's just slightly kind of curved down this way. All right, so we're gonna give that a curve. My other, see, my other leg's coming out slightly curved in the opposite direction. 
It's got a little bit of a bumpity bump down here at the bottom. And last but not least, that last leg's got quite a few bumpity bumps. So coming out of this side right here, kind of got a bumpity bumpity bump. All right, there's my kind of basic outline for where my C star is going to go. Now these are my top ridges of my C star right here. So I'm going to come back around and I'm going to start adding in my legs. They're skinnier at the bottom and then wider as they go out. Don't be afraid to erase, right? We artists love erasers. They're like our best friend because we can redo and redo as much as we need to. All right, so there's the start. Make that one a little bit longer. Start to our C star. Other interesting fact about C stars is there are so many different kinds. Not all of them have five legs. And of course, I know you guys already know if a C star loses a leg, it can grow it back again. All right, so I'm going to go back over this again a little bit. I've got my light lines on, and I'm not totally happy with some of them, so I'm going to fix it up a little bit, and I'm going to darken them up because I'm realizing that you all probably can't see so well what I'm doing. I'm drawing a little light, but we got to draw light at first, right? It makes it so much easier to erase and change things. I'm going to curve this one in a little bit more, get that one bumped out. This one like that, bring this one in a little bit more. I'm gonna try to make that where this one starts and ends more down across from that part right there. So I'm gonna bring that part out a little bit more. try to get these yeah there we go I'm gonna lighten up this center star too we don't need to see that quite so much anymore all right so I've got my outline going pretty well here now All right, so let's take a peek again and look at all that lovely texture we have on this sea star, right? Lots of little bumps. So you can go as detailed or not quite as detailed as you want to, but I'm gonna essentially sort of put bumps over all of my lines so I can sort of see those and put some bumps right around here where I've got my stars, some lovely little circles, and then some little clusters, right? We see little clusters of bumps before I start adding my color. If you happen to have oil pastels at home, this would probably be a great one to do with oil pastels, get your colors on and um, they blend so nicely, but we're gonna do it with crayons and it'll still look beautiful. All right, so right along, like I said, lighten up that, that star you've got in the center. We're just kind of using that as our 
our outline now for where we're gonna put those bumps. So we got all these fun, lovely little bumps. We're just gonna put them around that outside of that star. That C star. those inside lines like that. There's our lovely center. All right, some bumpity bumps down our
Okay, like I said, if you have to have some oil pastels at home, that'd be really fun for this project. Or if you just, colored pencils would still be great, but we did colored pencils yesterday. So just in case you don't have those at home, I thought, well, everyone's got some crayons. We'll do some crayons today. Look at these beautiful colors, right? Purples and blues, right? We got our cool colors over here. We got our warm colors in through here. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to color. Now color carefully, no scribble scrabble, and we wanna to try to keep some white in there. Or if you happen to have a white oil pastel or white chalk, you could go back in after and add some of those little white spots with our pastels. <laughs>
boys and girls, our own lovely Sandy Ridge Sea Star.